guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a first impressions slash review slash tutorial on the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude palette. So this is something that I picked up during the VIB sale at Sephora and I just haven't had a chance to um, film something on this and I decided I wanted to do like a really pretty um, sultry Christmassy type makeup look with this palette so that is pretty much what we did as you guys can see this is the look that I created today um, it's really nice and sultry um, and I feel like it's just really appropriate with the name of this eyeshadow palette which is Naughty Nudes so if you guys don't know about Huda Beauty um, she pretty much I think came out with a blog first and then she came out with some eyelashes and then she came out with some makeup and she's been probably in the industry for more than 10 years at least i really don't know exactly her line's been around for quite a while she started it off with the rose gold um textured palette which i know had a lot of controversy but i personally really like that one and then she came out with a few other ones including including the new nude palette which i did do a video on um and i really ended up loving that eyeshadow palette it's one of my favorites for sure and one thing i love about huda is that she always is coming out with such interesting textures in her eyeshadows so i feel like that's what really draws me to them because i feel like a lot of these colors like you'll see them in other palettes but the textures and the formulas that she creates are just very unique not something that you see in every single eyeshadow palette so i feel like she was one of the first people that i saw come out with like the marbled um eyeshadow and i feel like a lot of people have been jumping on that bandwagon so um this eyeshadow palette though had a little bit of like not controversy but like some backlash because one of the eyeshadows in it kind of looks a little weird looking some people were saying it looked moldy other people were saying that it was like triggering them other people were just saying that it looked like used it looked weird um it didn't look appealing at all and that is this shade right here called slippery i don't know if you guys can see that but pretty much it is a um it has like pigment little pigment balls of shimmer in a petroleum belly in a petroleum jelly type base so um it does have a really interesting like look to it but when you swatch it it just looks like a really iridescent vaseline type shade it's really an eyeshadow topper just kind of adds a little something to the eyeshadows and of course we have her standard um her marbled shadows including a matte marbled shadow which actually is more like a shimmer or a satin i mean she has a bunch of mattes in here her beautiful shimmers which i think her shimmers are some of the best shimmers that i've ever tried so um today instead of making you guys wait until the end of the video for my thoughts and whatnot i decided i'm just going to share my thoughts with you guys before i share the tutorial with you guys i did do a tutorial on this look here as you guys can see i don't know how bad my lighting is filming during the daytime isn't something that i really do a lot so for me this is like trying to balance the lights in the back and the lights here is just a little bit different than nighttime so before i tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on this i also wanted to share with you guys my lip combo because that's something that i said that i was going to start doing um just because sometimes i forget to link it down below but um Today I am using Gerard Cosmetics. I feel like they're one of my favorite brands when it comes to like lip products. I feel like they make phenomenal lip products. Their matte liquid lipsticks are probably some of the best that I've ever used. Um, so of course I have the Mudslide Lip Liner which is one of my all time favorites. I feel like this is just the perfect brownie like nude color for any woman of color or anyone who's trying to deepen up a nude lipstick um, i feel like if you put pair this with any nude lipstick even if it's something that usually looks bad on you it will make it look really really good and their lip liners are absolutely phenomenal i own all of them and i absolutely love them but this one is probably one of my favorites out of all of them um, they're super creamy and i know that they go on sale a lot where they have them like five for 25, which is an awesome deal, a great way to try out the lip liners. Um, Cause I think one lip liner is like $16. And then I also have on the Hydra Matte Bear It All Liquid Lipstick with the um, Nude Lip Gloss. This is the whitening one that has like the little light and the mirror on it. 
So I just paired all three of those together and I feel like it just made a really perfect peachy nude that really complements the makeup look today. So my camera totally overheated and I was about to wash off my makeup for the night and then I realized, oh crap, I didn't film an outro. So I quickly put on this hoodie because I just had on a tank top and um, I decided to finish filming this for you guys. So with my, obviously my lipstick is kind of gone, almost all gone. Um, it's been seven hours. I haven't touched it up once. This is what my lips are looking like. They still look good, but they don't look as vibrant and juicy as they did in the beginning. I also haven't touched up my face, which is why I'm looking a little bit shiny. We're just gonna take a little puff. Get rid of that shine right there, so I don't look too crazy. But with the lip combo, you can save 30% off on Gerard Cosmetics anything on their website um, if you use the code Meech makes up you can save 30% off it is an affiliated code so I do get a percentage if you guys use that code um, but it is a really great discount if you guys want to use it you're more than welcome to I mostly just use the money that I make on like affiliate codes and whatnot to buy stuff to be able to do these videos because let's just be real makeup is expensive and I don't have like this baller shot collar type job you know what I'm saying also big shout out to the iconic london prep set and glow water mist original this stuff is so good if you want that like beautiful instagram like glow and if your skin ever looks like dull or anything like that you just want to have like this radiance to your skin you need this in your life because it held up my makeup for seven hours without looking super greasy or shiny or cakey um i mean or glittery which is one thing i hate about like shimmery setting sprays so i just wanted to shout that one out real quick Anyways, back to the palette. So I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts on the palette now versus at the end of the video. So the palette, I was actually really pleasantly surprised with. Um, I feel like the color story in here is absolutely stunning. I was mentioning how I love how Huda always has like different textures in her eyeshadows and stuff like that. And I know people were like making a big fuss about this one being really weird. But I will say that I feel like it's more of an editorial like type of a eyeshadow it's not something that's gonna wear all day because i usually don't have really greasy eyelids but i noticed that my eyelids right here like all the makeup that was on my eyelids kind of disappeared it's no longer there anymore and that it kind of bunched up in the creases of my eyes so that is not a good thing and then also um, my eyelash is not coming off i just put it on my eye wrong so just in case you're looking at it like michelle you need to fix your eyelash no i just glued it on the wrong way so it is lifting up a little bit there i'm also trying out a different lash glue too um which i meant well i'm not trying it out i'm using a different lash glue than i usually use because i really like that kiss brush on lash glue i just feel like it's so easy so foolproof um well, it's not foolproof but it's so easy to use and i feel like it just makes applying lashes so much easier so anyways with the palette um i feel like it was really pigmented all the shimmers are absolutely stunning um i love all the different textures in here i feel like this color story is just absolutely phenomenal i feel like so many skin tones are gonna really um get good use out of this and this definitely is the new nudes like big sister is what i would say you know like the well she's like her the extroverted she's the extrovert while new nude is more like her the introvert you know like she's cute and she's gonna give you a little bit of a glamorous moment but naughty nude is gonna give you like that smoky sultry vibe like she's here she's here to party she's here to stand out and she doesn't care who's looking that's what naughty nude is so i really really like this palette a lot um i know it is a little bit pricier but because of the different formulas in here um i feel like it's worth the price and honestly i got this at the sephora bib sale so if cult beauty or huda beauty or sephora is ever having a sale i highly recommend picking this one up i feel like this will complement the new nude palette so well and i think this is perfect for the holiday time too because it has those beautiful like purpley tones that we love and i usually am not a big fan of how purple eyeshadows look on me um for the most part you guys know that i love my pink eyeshadows even though i hate the color pink and i love the color purple but i feel like these purples just really really work because of all the brown base that's in them so yeah that's pretty much it for my thoughts on the palette i really like it i think the mattes blended out really nicely they were super creamy super pigmented and the shimmers were absolutely gorgeous too the only the only thing i hated was kind of this i feel like again 
unless if you're doing something editorial that you only need it for a little while if you're wearing it all day it's going to kind of crease up your makeup so i kind of was not a big fan but what you can do is you can take it and if you want to give yourself like kind of like that wet look on your cheek you can just apply it right on top of your cheekbone right there you see that right there and you can see now how like my cheekbone looks a little bit more wet looking than this cheekbone here like this one has you know her highlights popping but this one she is popping so i do feel like you can use that kind of for like um your face and whatnot too um and it's not greasy at all like once you put it on it doesn't feel greasy like i didn't feel it heavy or greasy on my eyelid so i like that but i didn't like the fact that my eyelash or my eyeshadow literally wore off so anyways that is it for my thoughts on the huda beauty naughty nude palette i definitely recommend it i think it's a gorgeous palette i think it's a great way to get into a smoky eye without it being too intense i think this is definitely something that a lot of women would get used out of because i know a lot of people are scared of black and i feel like this is a great alternative to a black smoky eye so yeah that's all i have for you guys if you guys want to see how i recreated this look then just continue watching so we're starting off with the naughty nude palette which looks just like this in all of its beautiful glory and i'm going to start off with a shade called naughty and i'm going to apply that on a morphe m518 brush into my crease and just builds up the intensity until i get it to the color that i want then i went ahead and took uh, this shade called rough and i just went ahead and applied that right on top just to buff out all of the edges and then I went ahead and took a deeper color, I think this is the shade called Untamed, and I went ahead and just applied that on the other corner of my eye and just um, built it up into my crease. And then I took the shade called Hard and I went ahead and applied that onto my eyelid. It does have a little bit of a satin finish to it, so I feel like it just kind of gave me a nice little sheen to the eyes. I made sure everything blended in really, really nicely, blended it on my lower lash line as well. And then I went ahead and took that slippery shade that is so controversial put it on the center of my eyelid and then I went ahead and took a little bit more of that rough shade and put it underneath my lower lash line just to give me a nice little smoky um, something and then I went ahead and took the shade called tantric and I went ahead and applied that into the inner corners of my eyes and now I'm using this double-sided liner from Metaluso and I'm going to go ahead and use the thicker side to go ahead and um, line my upper lash line and then the felt tip side to create my wing and then I'm going to go back in with the thicker side to fill in the wing. I have been loving this eyeliner um, just because it's super easy to use. Then I'm taking some of the Kiss Lash Glue. This is the Brush On Lash Glue and my favorite lashes from Lily Lashes. These are in the style called Gaia. I'm taking them on a tweezer and I'm just applying them first into the center of my eye. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply on the inner and outer corners and that is it. It's super easy to do. You just have to make sure the glue does get tacky for a little bit. Then taking the lip combo from earlier and that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this 